Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Guys, for me, is there such and such a prophecy? He said, let me know where that child is so that I will come. Do you know that because of the arrival of Jesus, many women lost their children? Does that look like a savior? What kind of a savior whose arrival makes the death of... There was a lamentation in Rama. Many people died because a gift that will save the world arrived. Whoever told you that good things don't create conflict? Whoever told you that the arrival of glorious things will not bring contention from hell? Are we together now? Yes. This is a very powerful teaching. Jesus arrives. If you were the woman who lost your child, would you want to see Jesus? And they told you prophetically that this is the Savior. You want to save my life and you killed my child by your arrival. What a Savior. How about Mary? The moment it was announced in the spirit, Hail Mary, that salutation came and he said, you are favored. The next thing that followed her life was trouble and controversy. She was about to lose Joseph. Are we together? And then the scribes and the Pharisees came, just confess, who is the father of this child? A ghost. You must be stupid. You are playing with our intelligence on top of the fact that you have brought shame to your husband and our family. I'm an innocent young virgin. We do not believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, open doors come with challenges. That is the reason why men must be prepared to attain stature in the spirit. There are many doors that it is God that closed by himself because you have been weighed in the spirit and God has seen that if that door is open, the left, the bankruptcy of spiritual intelligence and stamina, you will die because a door opened. So he will close the door as an act of his mercy and quickly send you to men and women who would midwife your growth until you attain stature in the spirit and then that door will be opened. Are we together? You hear that in a family, the last person who became a pastor got mad after a crusade. You laughed hysterically and said, how can a man finish preaching and then be mad? And now you don't know anything about the dynamics of liberty. You have not learned that much. And then you wanted to go and organize a crusade in the same village. And you find out that the more you pray, the more the crusade is not holding. Don't force it. God is saying, listen, young man, it is true that Christ died, but we rise through light. You do not understand the ancient powers and the altars that have pegged their relevance in that land. You come in like Paul and just believe you dislodge darkness without spiritual intelligence. You will wake up with half of you not waking up. Many, many people have not followed the protocol of the spirit and they've barged into open doors arbitrarily to their pain. To their peril there are temptations you have no business going through for instance is it not when you are a big man that you now begin to fight for titles you didn't call me apostle joshua selman do you know who i am if you were a brother in the wilderness somewhere any name they call you even if they say yes you will answer but now that the door has been opened and you are a great man apostle joshua selman it is amazing to know that there is a whole industry that is built around ego because the higher you rise some unnecessary things become necessary so much that an industry was built around it if you are learning say amen, amen. some of you are praying and say god close that door i'm not i don't even want to get <laughs> you must pass through the door in the name of jesus hallelujah I remember one gentleman who came one time I don't know if he was here or he was in Zaria and he just brought a poster he said he was taking a step of faith he saw it in a dream he wanted to go and hold a crusade in a stadium in his place and I looked at him with compassion I said my friend God doesn't work like this huh just take it easy be faithful in your prayer group where you and he was determined I know what I had I said okay God go with you you see yeah 
sometimes it's very good to allow life itself to be able to help it's only that sometimes the casualties become so much even if you survive you will not have the strength again are we together yes. battles that come as a result of growth let's tie a few things now so the Bible says that the flesh is a big hindrance when doors are open I define flesh as the vulnerabilities and the negative tendencies that come with the fallen nature the vulnerabilities and the negative tendencies that come with the fallen nature the vulnerabilities and the negative tendencies that come with the fallen nature and the Bible says it can be activated it can be activated in the presence of plenty it can be activated in the presence of abundance watch this Jesus is teaching in a crusade and there are hungry people who are tarried there for three days and now they were hungry and a responsible father would say um, let them sit I'm about to feed them with bread he got five loaves two fish multiplied it and gave it to them notice what began to happen the moment they were getting satisfied lawlessness came in for as long as they were hungry they sat quietly as they shared the bread the moment they started becoming satisfied they started throwing remnants of the bread on the ground and after they left Jesus quietly said go around pack what they have thrown and they found out they had wasted 12 baskets full you will not waste bread if you are hungry but when you eat, you can now begin to waste because there is no need again. For as long as the nation of Israel were in need of a savior and deliverance, they would listen to everything Moses would say. But as soon as they crossed the Red Sea and attained unto a place of liberty, Moses went up to receive the commandments and he returns back to find idol worshippers who had suddenly changed. They had forced Aaron to build a golden calf and they began to bow and worship how short a time was it from their exodus that they had now forgotten that's what happens to men in the presence of abundance give us this day our daily bread then it does not stop there he said now pay attention to what comes along daily bread when you receive daily bread then he says lead us not into temptation temptation always follows daily bread and then he says deliver us from evil hallelujah there are groups and associations you may never know exist until you rise to certain realms in life are we together now you have become a ceo you don't drink you don't smoke, you love God, but you have attained a position of growth and honor where you are invited for an executive meeting. And the nature of that meeting demands global leaders to join you. And there are certain professional practices that may corrupt your conviction, but it is part of the modus operandi of that level of living. The courage it will take to stand and say no will take fasting and prayer. For you to be able to administer it because there are implications when you make the people feel stupid because of your faith are we together now yes there are many people who do not understand you get into a system where corruption is systemic it's not about your personal desire you met a design like that and your contribution is only part of the design how do you now fight that overall system you can fight an individual, but fighting systems are very difficult. Are we together now? Yes. You never knew that there was anger and frustration in you until God gave you large membership and you are preaching, people are saying amen, and nobody comes to say, Apostle, God bless you. I'm not saying you should give me money, please. I'm just using it as an example. And everybody just meets you and says, your sermon was powerful while you are trekking back home. Then you realize that that pain is in your heart. Remember, you said you don't have any business with the cares of this world. Your wife wakes you and says, is this how we are going to continue? When I married you, I knew what you told me God said. What is this thing we are seeing? That's when you will stand up and know that on a Sunday morning, you don't have a sermon because of anger. Not because you could not prepare. You are beginning to hate the people God sent you to because you don't even know what kind of stiff neck. Now you understand Moses' anger. And you will know why in spite of his anger, God still called him the meekest man. 
God rates people based on the pressures that are on them and the level of righteousness that oozes out in the midst of that pressure. Are we together? A woman who has eight children and no husband, plus five other relatives that were added to her, and she prays for only 30 minutes a day, and she's faithful in it. You can laugh at her because all your supplies come free. You can lock yourself for three days and come out into supplies that are prepared. And you will find out that God seems to honor that woman because he's rating her based on the realities that are there and her press to love God in spite of what is available. Is someone learning now? This is very, very powerful. There are vulnerabilities that come when we grow. Listen, when you know this, huh, the higher you rise, the more humble you become. I've had the honor and the privilege of relating with the fathers of faith in this nation, and I am amazed at the level of humility and brokenness within them. You would think they were such a weak people, but these people are powerful in the spirit. Something, there is an education that experience in partnership with the spirit has brought to them that they have understood that, listen, it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth, but in truth it is of the Lord that showeth mercy. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.